Have you ever really wondered what goes into a large scale music tour, like a rock and roll tour, going from arena to arena, doing a bunch of shows all around the world? I mean, it's a lot of work. There's a ton that goes into it. And I'm an audio engineer, a front of house audio engineer. I've toured with a bunch of Grammy winning artists, but I'm gonna show you in this video behind the scenes, a production rehearsal that we did getting ready for a big tour that included a show at Madison Square Garden. So in this room, we actually have the full stage set up as it's going to go out on tour. You can see there are set pieces, there are lights that are meant to be part of the set, and there's a backdrop and an actual physical structure behind the band. And you can see me here getting all the levels together, doing a line check, making sure every audio line is going where it's supposed to be. We had over a hundred inputs for this show. So everything had to be lined up quite perfectly. You can see our monitor engineer Chip behind me doing the same thing on the monitor console. We're going channel by channel together to make sure it's all patched correctly before the band actually gets on stage. And walking around to the other elements, you can see this is our creative team. This is, these are the people that come up with the overall show design. And our lighting team here is carrying out a lot of the things that the creative team has come up with. We have Ian who's programming the show on one of the lighting desks. And then that is immediately synced to this other lighting desk and our lighting director, Anna, who is going out on tour with us to actually run the shows every night. Then over here, we have our monitor desk, a Digico SD10, which is set up facing the band for easier communication. Then we also have a third audio desk for the opening band at front of house. Since I have a dedicated front of house desk for the headliners, it's better and easier and safer for our show if the opener, the support acts, use a desk of their own. So we carry that along with them because there aren't any house audio systems in the venues we're going to. We're setting up the stage. We're setting up all the audio self-contained. All the audio we use for the show is coming off of our trucks. Now, this is a production rehearsal we did for a mid to large size arena tour. We did a lot of five to 20,000 seat venues, including Madison Square Garden, with about five semi trucks and four tour buses. It ended up going really well, a really fun tour, really successful, a lot of great sold out shows. But if you were on a bigger tour, like a huge stadium tour, say Taylor Swift, U2, that sort of thing, the production rehearsal studios get much, much larger. There are studios, there are production rehearsal studios that exist that are massive, that can support the 40, 50, 60 trucks worth of gear or whatever it is to go up and tech out everything very, very carefully. Again, this is gear that you're bringing with you on, on tour. And if you show up to a gig and you don't have all the right stuff and it's not dialed in, the show can go seriously wrong. There are a lot of moving parts in these shows, which is why we set up our actual gear in a production rehearsal space to make sure it's ready for the road. All right, I'm Scott from the Production Academy. Check out this playlist here or subscribe right here and I'll see you in the next video, bye.